we're back again. <laughs> scoop time. Scoop time. Everybody's upset about this because we got it first. <laughs> Motor Matters did it again. What are we talking about? A bike, Beijing. The Beijing buy bike. Buy bike. The buy bike. Yes. What's a buy bike? Buy bike. Oh, Beijing buy. B Y. B Y. Not okay. B Y E. No. Buy. Buy bike. Buy bike. Now, what's interesting? Let's we just get, get stuck on name. that for hours. Let's just get this name thing it's out a, the way because a lot of people. Are, it's a it's a X fifty five. It's no, it is. It's the Beijing X fifty five. There we go. Okay. okay, but now let's just get something out because a lot of people have been commenting on my videos I've already put out about this vehicle. Mm -hmm. Why Beijing? Why are you calling it Beijing? Why didn't you just call it bike? What is bike abbreviation for? Beijing Automotive Industrial Corporation. Correct. How so quick did I say that without even hey, knowing? Well done, boy. I just, I just guessed. <laughs> so they actually are using so this the name. Is, this is a bit of a flagship for them. That's well, why they're branding it as Beijing. Look, what it's also their first SUV in South okay. Africa. Well, I don't know about worldwide, but in South Africa, it's their mm -hmm. first SUV. So they wanted to differentiate mm -hmm. it a bit because, look, they're known for the uh, B40, the mm -hmm. Jeep-like, can I mm -hmm. call it? <laughs> and then they they have had up to now, of course, the the no, I always get mixed up the D20 and the 25, which the small hatchback and the little kind of bigger hatchback one that they've been bringing into South Africa up to now. Mm -hmm. But now they are going big and they're making the breakthrough into the crossover SUV market. Mm -hmm. Crossover SUV slash medium SUV, I'm going to call it. Because it's a little bit bigger than most crossover SUVs. Yeah, it is. It is. It's yeah. a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get numbers out the way. 1.5 meter turbo. Turbo. 132 kilowatts. 130 kilowatts. 130. And 305 newton meters. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Mated to a? Seven speed, dual D clutch, automatic. DCT. DCT. There we go. Now, what they've done is, and they were very proud to tell us this Should at the reveal. Mm hmm is that the engine won awards in China mm -hmm. and the gearbox mm -hmm. was rated one of the top 10 gearboxes in the world for 2022. By who? Uh, Someone, okay. They, they showed the certificates, the ratings. But okay. it's, now that was not an in-house development. It was developed in conjunction with one of the Somebody big else. German uh, engineering gearbox, whatever. Not Bosch or Getrag or one of those, but Definitely one of those kind of companies. Okay. okay, so you're in there. What I'm saying is they brought in expertise. Mm -hmm. So you've got that. And that's a big factor as well, okay? Okay. Now, where does this car fit into the market? That's the question. As I said, it's slightly, it's not a crossover SUV. We'll confirm the launch pricing at the launch. No, I've, I've been, okay. But you watch the channel, don't you? You saw I not only went on the media preview but i got the first test car in south africa mm -hmm. how much they announced at the preview mm -hmm. 400 to 460 by the range all with the same engine and gearbox mm -hmm. spec levels differ mm -hmm. level one level two level three that's what they're calling them i've had a whisper it's going to be just 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 less than those numbers Less than 460 for the top range. For the top. That's the, one, that's the one that we drive. Just just under 400 for the entry. Good God. Yes. Now, it start, it, it, you, your mindset changes when you start hearing this. Because maybe it's not perfect. But you know what? Money makes you forgive a lot of things as well along the way, right? It's, it, it's, it's difficult to reconcile that yeah. pricing point with the, with, the, with the spec levels. Because they are high. Well, and, and, look, let's, and let's be honest, I mean, you know, it's a case of, it's a case of when driving it, yeah. that seven-speed DCT, I think mm -hmm. they just need to keep the Germans there a little bit longer to get them to the same spec as the Germans. It's not quite as quick as I would have expected. Again, I'm but saying this is a family SUV. Exactly. It's and fine. For what it is. For what it is, it does the job. It beetles down very the road smoothly, with a very comfortably. Of, with a degree of uh, enthusiasm. It's got it a bit of oomph, yeah, yeah, It's no, got a touch of oomph. We actually, goes. on the preview, it we goes. got to drive it around Swartkorp's racetrack. Did oh, really? you know that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, let's just touch on that quickly because I, d I didn't comment it's on It's front-wheel drive. It's front-wheel drive, yes. Absolutely. But now, we did a little 
emergency lane change slalom thing, mm -hmm. okay, to start with. Mm -hmm. We were instructed mm -hmm. to enter it at 60 k's an hour. Mm -hmm. We were three or four in a car. I was the first one in our car to go through. Mm -hmm. And I go, whoop, 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 and I go through. Mm -hmm. And I stop and the instructor in charge says, why did you go in so slowly? And the guy sitting behind me says, no, 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 no. I was looking at the speedo was actually showing 61 as you entered. So what I'm saying is it handles pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. We then were allowed to do a lap or two round Swartkops, mm -hmm. not pushing it stupidly, but going a little bit. And I've got to tell you, it sat nicely on the track. You know, you've got to know the track. You've got to get your lines right, whatever, whatever. But I did first lap, I did slowly. Second lap, I upped the ante quite nicely. And four, again, the category of car. Did it have the 19 inch rims on the, 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 the one we had? It, it was the, in fact, it was the same car. Okay. So 19 inch rims, which is obviously only on the top level one, etc., etc. So you've got that, what I'm saying is spacious as anything. Eh? It is big. Wow, it's big. It really competes with even slightly bigger cars than, hmm. you know, than the categories would suggest. That's why I'm saying medium SUV, not crossover SUV. Mm -hmm. Let's talk spec. Come on, let's just, and let's talk level three, the top one. Mm -hmm. What all does it have? Come, let's see how much you can remember. It has pretty much everything. Um, no climate control. Okay. So mm. the big difficulty mm. or issue that I had to get over on the car is that there are no manual controls for anything. What they've done is that you've, you've got an infotainment system yeah. that is now no longer an infotainment system. It's a control panel. And it's a massive control panel. I mean, it it's looks big. And it looks like an Apollo and, spacecraft. And, 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 and the, whole, the whole dash is completely digital as well. Yes. And, 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 and as always with these systems, mm. it's about how you navigate through them that actually makes a difference. Okay, now, I so, don't think you did or didn't pick up. There is a little shortcut button on the steering still wheel. Don't to to them. Yeah. Still uh, don't know how to program them. Yeah. Still don't know how to program them. I think, so, from what I understand, you've got to set it up for yourself I if think you own the car. Yeah. I think there's some software upgrades that will be downloaded mm. via the cloud into, mm. this, into this vehicle, which will make a lot of sense, just yeah. to update the men menu navigation system. Mm. So for me, the biggest issue was, you know, just accessing the aircon. So it was kind of like you have to access aircon, yeah. then you have to tell it what temperature you want, then you have to tell it what fan speed you want. I just want to, yes. like, I just want to push one button, just auto. Talk. Look, I would agree have, with you there, but... Would, it would have changed things yeah. because the, the, the difficulty mm. with it that I have is, is that until you know where everything is, mm. you're looking from the road down on that screen, okay? And that's all the time. Look, I, I've aircon, commented the aircon many a time... All the, yeah. It's yeah. super efficient. I've mentioned many a time with a lot of cars, and all the French cars lately have had the aircon on the screen. Like, I don't know if you've picked that up, with mm. what you've tested uh, lately. But all the French cars suddenly seem to have gone to Nothing that, on the high end, that yeah. model, yeah. where aircon yeah. screen. And I've Dial. commented too many times, mm. to me it's a distraction while you're driving. Uh, I not understand. entirely happy with that. I understand where they're going with it. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. it's a case of... It's a case well, it of cleans up the fascia and it, it cleans up Well, yeah, exactly. So now yeah. you've got no buttons for anything. You, Correct. You know, yeah. your, 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 your stereo system, you operate from the, from the, from the, yeah. from the steering wheel now. And that's become mm. second nature, to, I think, to everybody. Yeah, so no, that, that's fine. Yeah. That, 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 mm. that, that all works. Yeah. Uh, navigation through the menus is, mm. you know, it's a good first start. It's a little bit chinese for me. You know, you, the logic doesn't, doesn't flow, but they'll get that right as they, as they go. Yeah. Um, but then it's got everything, you know. I mean, look, aside, got, aside from talk to the car, which I think Cherry have got yeah, mastered. Yeah, Cherry have mastered um, that one. You don't have that one. but It doesn't have that, but yeah. it's got a massive panoramic sunroof. Which did you, you know, the extra feature on the sunroof. Which one? Which I, There are two features, actually, that I want to mention. You can set it, obviously. Yes. Is you go into the menus and uh, menu, 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 and you'll get to it. Where you can set that if you're on the highway. And you touch 125, it'll automatically it close. closes automatically to improve the aerodynamics and stop the buffeting. Okay. Then it goes another feature it's got on the sunroof and the windows. Mm -hmm. If you park the car and you leave anything open, mm -hmm. it's got a rain sensor like your rain sensing windscreen wipers. Okay. It'll close them automatically if it if senses it rains. rain. Yeah. That's Listen, very clever. There's yeah, a lot it's of such an easy thing, I'm sure, in today's world. But who else has thought of it's this? Got a, it's got a lot of little touches like yeah, that, and, yeah. and 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 to be honest, you know, the mm. the, the, the rest of the interior of the car mm. looks promising. You know, so you've got you've got vented seats. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah. 460,000 rand. I go on a lot heated about vented cooled seats. Heated and cooled seats. Because yeah. I like vented seats. Not vented, heated and cooled. Heated and cooled. Well, yeah. when I say vented, I mean you yeah. get air conditioning going mm. through your bum, mm. which is nice. And it just keeps your, 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 your back yeah. nice and dry when you're doing those long journeys. Not that you will ever mm. get particularly sweaty in that car, because the aircon is stupidly Very powerful. Yeah. Mm. Um, the, you know, so mm. the seats and things look look good. Yeah. It's got It's got a lot of... Mm. Piano black high gloss all over the place. Which is, you know, uh, yes, it is what it is. Looks good, but yeah. practicality, the touching, the, the fingerprints Look, all over it down the line. Even yeah. my favorite car of the year, the Jeep, mm. has mm. got that. Yeah, I get over it. I said, you know, right. car is that good. the The rest of the car mm. is 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 actually not too bad. You no. know, you've got you've got mm. you've got. Dare I say it? Did you notice the flappy paddles? Yes. Did you notice the? And there wasn't a mm. head up display. No, no head up but display. No. I think that's really about the only thing they've left off. Yeah, but you again, know, I mean, yeah, it, in that category of car, what do you need a head-up display for? Come on. Well, but it's got all the act, it's got the active cruise control, it's got the safety, mm. it's got the spec, it's got the airbags, so it's got everything you would want in a family car. That's the point. And if you now, and I'm going to tread dangerously for a second here, compare it now size-wise, power-wise, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you're talking cars at what two hundred thousand and more, one fifty to two hundred more, and 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 not that long ago it would have been a lot more. Yeah, than one fifty to two hundred more. It's uh, also got features uh, on it that exactly what you've just said you would never have seen in a car under eight hundred thousand rand yep, in today's yep. money. That's the kind of that's the interesting, fascinating thing. The other thing, and I've got to point this out, that front end, the front grill, hmm. well. There almost isn't a grill. Did you notice that? No, it that? looks electric. When I first saw the car, I actually thought, is this electric? So when I dropped the car off yeah. mm. in the complex where yes. bike are, is an electric mm. solar powered company. Yes, yes. And they were looking for a car to plug in. Mm. And they came and they said, can we plug this one in? Because they also thought it was an electric yeah. car. It, it looks... Yeah. Now, uh, what I will tell you is I've done quite a bit of reading and research on the car. Mm. This platform which mm -hmm. is, a, by the way, a brand new platform. It's mm -hmm. a brand new version of the X55. There has been a previous one, but this is the new one. Mm -hmm. Has been designed from the start mm -hmm. for both hybrid and electric mm -hmm. versions. And watch the space. Plug and play. Watch the space. That's all I can say. I can't say more than that. But now one other thing just before we finish on this no, car that I've no, got to point you've out. Got to, you've missed the most important thing of all. What? The pop-out door handles. <laughs> yeah, they are neat, eh? Are they going to break? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, look, that's a comment we always say to you. We drive new cars. We drive new cars. We do not drive three-year-old, five-year-old cars. So please understand when we can't comment About on something I, like that. I have What's to say it going to be like after they, three years? They, they felt reassuringly solid. That the you're, car, not gonna, you're not going to be able to snap it off. Which is let me I put say. it this way. That car overall feels pretty solid. Yeah, it's, especially when you, can I use the term, it's think put, that it was built to a price. Put, it's put together It's put together but well. It's put together way above. So on that price, yep. are they doing a, we get to buy market share and... Cutting I the price know. to the absolute bone to get I in there. I do not know. Take advantage of it. If you're gonna look, you've got to be brave, because are you an early adopter or aren't you? How far wrong can you possibly go? Yeah, I mean, have voluntarily proven the point. Exactly. South Africans up to three, four, five years ago were oh, brand nice. loyal. Had to be one of the big ones, or they didn't want to know. The interesting thing is if you look at the earlier forays of the Chinese brands into South Africa, and they all flopped. Yeah, I'm talking, well, yeah, but we're talking, I'm talking years ago. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm talking yeah, yeah. 10, 15 years yeah, yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they came and went because yeah. they flopped. Yeah. But then again, they came with lousy products. This, oh, I was going to say, in the South African <laughs> market, if, if, you're not, if you're not competing with something of quality, you are yeah. a goner. Do you know, just while on, yeah, the, on, on yeah. your side, yep. from the South African Auto Week, um, one, of the, one, mm -hmm. of the, one of the things made by, by, by Gary from Kia yeah. was the fact that our market has more brands, mm. more models, more variations than any other market in the world. I'm not surprised, especially relative to the number of sales. We are yeah. stupid car. And listen, it's actually, it's country. actually no, but it's actually stupid. Period. No, because what? But it does mean it does mean you can't bring crap here. No, you will but, be eaten alive. But at the same time, 
where is the business model? And I have to say this, to bring in a version, a derivative that sells 25 a year. I don't know. To have the parts, the backup, the blah, 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 blah. Don't but know. anyway, th listen, that's another story now. But what I wanted to just say to you is, forget early 2000s, mm. okay? They, they, I think they were dumping junk at that point, if I've got to use that term. Didn't work. Did not work. But now, five years. Have I been here roughly five years, yeah. okay? Yeah. And where they came in with a great advantage was on the back of the GWM Buckies that had been here for 10 years at that mm. point. Mm. And it built a damn good reputation. Mm. Okay, so they came in on the back of that. Mm. They cracked it. Mm. Cherry have followed. Mm -hmm. Now we've got the now we've got Beijing slash bike. Yeah. And if you look at what we've seen and experienced of this vehicle, as you just said, you want a medium SUV packed with all the spec in the world mm. at and it's all relative, a crazy low price. Yeah. Go and look at this thing. It's, it's going to be hard. To and what I wanted to say to you was, I drove it around for yes. those good few days. You had it for the last day or two. I know. I got no petrol with it. I drove it around. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Everywhere I parked that car, there were people stopping and looking at it. I did the school run on it. What? Exactly is the same this? thing. I went out the one evening and I, we were overlooking where it was parked. And I actually wish I'd had a camera mm. set on the car for like an hour or so because. Huh, huh. It's, you just got this, and it's interesting because yeah. in the in the amorph in the amorphous blob space of SUVs, today, correct? Yeah, it stood out, it and, and very much. Stands that's out. hard to do. Yeah, it very much stands out. Yeah. On that note, now the official media launch, fifteen November. I'll be there. I think you'll be there, but that's and not that's the point. Crazy. Then go and look at these cars because they'll be around. I, don't know if they're in dealerships yet, but go and check it out. Yeah, it's worth seeing. Absolutely worth seeing. Then make your own choice. Yeah. For Motor Matters, he's Will. I'm L. He's L. I'm Will. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> See you next time. Cheers. <laughs>